Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking about where did the illustrators go, graphic design over illustration. For those of you who haven't seen my content before, my name is Derek. I am a digital designer and multimedia artist. I work in advertising and social media. Let's get into the video. So to start, what is an illustrator? Illustration is a person who draws or creates pictures for magazines, books, advertising, etc. Overall, commercial art. Illustrators have almost always existed, and the career is much broader than the definition I just provided. The profession has also not been documented as much as other art industries. Fine art is also broad, but it also has defined periods and cataloged movement. Part of the problem is the art community has always looked down on commercial art, and that there are millions of new illustrators appearing all the time. There are so many people who you could consider an illustrator, and it's the type of career with the infrequency and gets hard to keep track of. The industry is also very complex, and there are many different professions within it. If I were to show comic book art and maybe some technical renders for a medical illustration to an average person and say both of these count as illustrators, it wouldn't make sense to them or at least confuse them. The profession is very broad and over the years has become very neat, bringing me to the next part of the video. What does the industry look like now? Illustrators used to work on various works and were used much more versus nowadays. Illustrators would be used to help make instructions for furniture or to create ads for a magazine, but some still do, but what changed in the frequency of their use? That answer is the introduction of photography, digital art software, and stock illustration. So combining all of these technological advancements and capitalism, the need for illustrators goes down and niches down to their very specific roles. Back in the day, a team was an illustrator and a graphic designer working on the layout of a magazine or some other print project. Now it's just been boiled down to a graphic designer most of the time. Why illustrate something technical when someone can take a picture? Why do I need an illustrator to make this for me when programs have made it easier for others on the team to do the exact same thing? Like a graphic designer. They can just trace over what they need with art software and if the designer can't make it, we can just use a stock illustration site. All of these factors wiped away a lot of older illustration jobs, and some of those older jobs still exist, but usually that illustrator also does other things to make an income. Either that or they have a super specific job, like a concept artist, animator, children's book, medical illustration, and many other super technical roles. To be a strictly full-time illustrator, you need to be very technical and able to perform a specific job within the industry. The other option includes working for greeting card companies, creating editorials, and publishing houses. But sometimes those jobs are only contract and are not full-time. Now this scenario is forever changing and there are always artists who are the exception to the rule, but for now this is the most general interpretation of the current market. Now I want to talk about an illustrator who kind of is an example of the idea that I'm trying to get to, and that is Tim Jacobus. He was the illustrator for Goosebumps, and I'm going to link an article that talks more about it below. But he had an amazing career in the 90s. He was an awesome illustrator and did amazing work. But in the article, it talks about how his work for Goosebumps dried up and Scholastic didn't want him to do other stuff. So he pivoted his career. He became a motion designer if you end up reading the article. But that's what a lot of freelance illustrators' careers end up being like sometimes. Sometimes there's a lot of work, like him, and he worked for years. But then sometimes it dries up and you need to have more skills in today's market. They're not just going to keep an illustrator there full time unless it's like for a specific job in a specific industry. Also, by the way, I suggest reading the article. They show off a lot of the Goosebumps covers and I've been meaning to buy the art book. <laughs> Support Tim, he's awesome and his horror art will forever go down as my staple of what all good horror art is. Alright, let's get to the next part of the video and kind of talk about a little bit of my personal experience in the commercial art world. 
I used to be an illustration major in college, but after examining the market, I shifted into graphic design. The funny thing is though, I have ended up working on a lot of illustration work and more illustration work versus my friends who majored in it. Not discounting their efforts, talent, and skills, but when it comes to the modern market, you simply in most cases need more skills. It just can't be illustration. And this is even the same with graphic design. The commercial art industry needs you to be diversified. And if that requires you to learn video video, animation, marketing, etc. Now I want to add, illustration can be a fruitful and awesome career. I see tons succeeding all the time, and it is possible. But a lot of those illustrators had specific jobs in mind and were strategic about their portfolios and careers. And the ones who were on a freelance basis also had multiple streams of income. Now, I am not the sole voice on this topic, and the art world is full of exceptions. So I'm recommending these four YouTubers who have am always trusted on the topic. They have interesting takes and more actionable advice than this video. So please check them out. I'll have them appear on screen right now. They are awesome and have much more in-depth advice than me. The advice in this video is more aligns to general person working in a small town, mid-sized city, looking for work. But these people just have the best general contemporary advice. Overall, the illustration industry has changed and will continue to change. Hopefully there will be more opportunities and I think being an illustrator today has some advantages over the past. But please be strategic about how you want to plan your career and understand as an artist no matter what art trade you pick, you will pick up other skills to sell yourself better. And that's kind of the main idea of this video. Illustration jobs weren't wiped out. They changed and evolved. And the modern illustrator needs to know a little bit more. They need to understand that the world's always changing. And that means that you have to be willing to learn. Alright guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like content like this and want me to talk more about art, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. See you later.